Always gotta eat your waffles, guys. Gotta make those gains. Hello my friends. Say hello to the latest video that I'm shooting right now. What's up everybody? Hello, 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 hello. I'm with you guys right now, say hello. You guys are all on camera. Alrighty guys, so live stream unboxing right now, about to see what I got. When I get packages in the mail, it feels like Christmas. Ooh, it's a Cellucor package. Uh oh guys, uh oh. May not want to tune into this, it's a Cellucor package. Bands. There we go. A4 t-shirt. Sorry, G4. Oh, it's that sick. Just a plain gray. That was pretty sweet. Charred garlic fries. We got tofu. And some broccoli with. Parmesan. Shout out to Eric Roberts from Alaska. What's up, what's up, what's up? I, I thought I would change it, um, change it up tonight. Just because I've been having, I had pizza last night too, so. Random giveaway, I'm actually doing that soon. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to do a little, uh, I guess, physique starting point. Uh, granted, this is mainly just gonna be focused on my my strength and my strength building process, but I just wanted to give you an idea of where I am. No half nighty lighting, no anything. This is just gonna be me in a raw. Uh, I feel like it's super important to be um, really just open with yourself and um, confident. It is what it is. Uh, I'm looking forward to this and I'm looking forward to uh, kicking things in the gear. So without further ado, let's do it. And of course. Alrighty guys, so right now I'm actually on my way to the post office. I got my PO box probably about, I wanna say three weeks ago, and I haven't checked it since, so we're gonna see what we got, if we got anything, but. I have mail for David Goodman. Not exactly what I had in mind, but hey, whatever. Alrighty guys, so I just got back from Target. I got back from the store. Um, got my Christmas shopping pretty much done, but I had to get some other stuff too, so got some pretty good stuff at the store, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got right now. After all this time, I've not invested in a Swiffer, and my floors are absolutely disgusting, so hopefully this will fix that. Again, hopefully these will fix that. I actually use these religiously already, but not this micro scrubber stuff. 
Um, actually, I can't show that because that's for my madre. I'm such a good son. Gotta love Christmas. Uh, these are the best rice cakes ever. Lightly salted. Quaker. Um, best gum flavor ever. Seriously, you guys haven't had this. It lasts forever and it's amazing. Get on that. Old school butterscotch. Throw this in my oatmeal. Yep. Basic razor blades. Generic Target brand stir fry. Generic Target brand stir fry blend. Amazing. Then we went to um, Ralph's, aka the main grocery store. So, Power Raid Zero, favorite flavor right there. I'm mean, gonna do a lot of favorites in this video. Liquid sweetener, the whole deal. And this, boom, this is actually gonna go on my new recipe I'm gonna try out tonight on my pizza. So I'm gonna make a curry pizza. Hopefully it will turn out pretty good. So, I've never made it before, but. Garbanzo beans, the typical stuff you guys know already. Reduced sodium, of course. Tofu, the usual, like I said. And then some more usuals. I'm actually gonna be making some protein waffles tonight as well, so I'm expecting to put a recipe video up for that. And then I'm trying these. Now, I'm thinking that this is probably the dumbest $5 I've ever spent in my life, but um, I'm gonna be trying out Tofurky barbecue chicken pockets. Um, even if they are delicious, I really think that this is like a poor, I was like regarding this in the car, like why did I spend that much money on this? But uh, I'm gonna be trying this out for you guys anyways, and uh, we're gonna see how it tastes. Sierra Mist. I'm gonna check out those bags though. These are pretty, this is like two bucks at Target and they're like huge, Merry Christmas, so big bags. Romaine, more romaine. Joy Carb Strong, another shout out, dude. Um, soy nuts and honey roasted, if you guys can see that. Honey roasted sesame, seed, sesame sticks. Sesame sticks are like my jam lately, I've been loving them, so I got like a little mixture. Um, last but not least, these are my only, this is the only way I've been able to find Brussels sprouts now. Smaller and not like the size of a freaking tennis ball. So it's unfortunate, but whatever. So I'm just getting it in the back, but that's what I'm rolling with right now, guys. That's my grocery haul. It's about that time to make some waffles. Extra creamy. Always gotta eat your waffles, guys. Gotta make those gains. Alrighty guys, so we're here at this point of the video. I don't want this to be too, too long, but I really wanna go through the details of how I'm gonna approach the next few weeks, slash months, slash years, really. Put it simply, I've messed around for a long time, about a year now. I'll put up some videos of me at my strongest, if you wanna say, and uh, at those points I was deadlifting 455 pounds at that first single, and uh, squatting 370 pounds, benching 235, and the whole point of this is I really wanna get back to that point. I wanna get back to that point where I'm able to feel uh, strong again, where weightlifting is a passion for me. Granted, cycling is always gonna be a passion for me, but I realize that I don't like being a competitive cyclist. I, I've competed in races before, and it's just really, it's not my thing. And um, the whole thing in cycling is that when you weigh less, uh, you have less muscle on you, you are gonna be a faster cyclist. You are gonna be uh, a better ranked cyclist, and that's not really what I'm about. That being said, the whole point of this is to focus more on powerlifting, weightlifting, and less on cycling. But I will still do it. Ideally, you want to progressively overload every single week, and if that's not happening, then either more food or less cycling. So very briefly, I'm gonna to touch on some key things that I think are really gonna matter during this course of my life. 
the whole goal of this is to be consistent. This is gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing for uh, not just a few months, it's gonna be hopefully for the next few years. And I really wanna make sure that this is done right and done properly. I wanna make sure that I'm hitting every single compound movement at least once per week and progressively overloading with every week. That being said, I am still searching for a routine. I will find one, whether it be a powerlifting based routine, whether it be a bodybuilding routine, I will find a routine that I feel works best for me. It is going to be a low volume routine and something that I can do in around 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, just with my work schedule and everything right now, I only have two days a week for the next four weeks during this winter break that I do have basically guys. So I'm gonna be in the gym five to six days per week, uh, just training my ass off. Uh, results will not come if you are not stimulating each muscle group and you're not busting your ass. And uh, that's just my philosophy on it, so. Now, the most important aspect of all of this, nutrition. So this is gonna be very different with me, seeing as I am a cyclist, I do ride bikes, have a pretty high energy expenditure, I don't have high metabolism. Get right to it, over the past year and a half, I haven't tracked macros, I haven't tracked calories, I haven't tracked any of that consistently. While I don't feel like having a regimen is necessary, I do feel like in this case for me, maybe it is gonna be for the first couple weeks or however long it may take but I feel like that's going to be great for me to kind of get myself into a consistent routine um, and a consistent eating schedule. Another way for me to uh, be able to control my my giant appetite and um, my hunger fullness cues is fasting has always been a way for me to do that. Um, what I'm going to be doing is actually structuring my meals into um, more frequency during the day. Um, usually when I am at work, I'll usually have a meal, a uh, big meal, and then um, one when I get home and then one before I go to sleep. So usually about three meals per day. Um, then on other days too, usually about two meals per day. So very, uh, not a lot of frequency there. And I'm not, it's usually towards the later end of the day. So what I wanna do to make sure that I'm on top of everything is getting more calories in um, at more frequent parts of the day. So I feel like that's gonna be great for me. Just hunger fullness cues are gonna be a little bit better. And I feel like I'm just gonna feel a lot better. And everybody pretty much knows that I'm not really a fan of tracking calories. I'm not a fan of uh, rigidity around everything. And I've mentioned that numerous times, but to be honest, I feel like it's actually gonna be helpful for me right now at this point. I feel like some regimen in that area will be awesome. I'm not really gonna to focus too too much on macros really. I feel like uh, people that fixate on macros are really just ignoring um, you know, the grand scheme of things which is your actual energy intake. Calories are energy. So if you're not making progress, you're not eating enough calories or you're doing too much activity. So those are the two variables that will need to change if I'm not making progress. That's pretty simple. And that's it guys, the goal here is strength. And I feel like this time I really can do it. I feel like it can really uh, get back to a point uh, where I was before and even go, go past that, be, uh, be an even stronger Eric. And uh, I really want you all to follow my journey and I want this to just, I want this channel again to not be based around food challenges, not to be based around, um, you know, these wild, uh, you know, eat beats. It's not really about that. My, my channel is for everybody. So this is just another way for me to, uh, to uh, set a self experiment really for the next, wherever it may be, uh, months, years, wherever it may be. So I really want you guys to be able to, to follow me and follow my progress. So. Thanks for watching the video guys and stay tuned for the next one. Let's do this, 2016, here we come. Thanks guys.